Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge. Yeah, this is so exciting to get to paint. And this is the third installation of what I've been working on. You've been watching me here. And so as I promised you, we're gonna go into the color wheel first. Remember, those of you who have just joined me, I'm working on the four colors. I'm working on the four colors. Blue is my dominant color. You look at all the different blues. Red is the focal point. Bam, you can't miss that one. And now I need to add the two spice colors, which happen to be this yellow and this purple. So that's what's missing right now. So I'm gonna do that part right now. All right, let's get painting. Here we So remember the two spice colors, this one happens to be yellow and purple, are always going around somewhere close to the focal point color. It kind of augments it, makes it more important. Here we go, I'm just gonna go right for it. Put it in there, stay loose. Oh, see, she's more important already. Really kick it up a little bit. Really emphasize her hip a little bit. Maybe even up in her hair a little bit. I mean, this is a painting. I'm gonna wet my brush, clean it up a little bit. Here's the violet, here's the purple color, right? Purple, violet, whatever. I'm gonna go on this side. Whoa! See? It's just like way too much fun. It, it doesn't make any kind of a sense, but I sure love how, oh, I like how she's developing here. There we go. And drawing, oh, I love the drawing part. Whoa, whoa. And let's, now see, this is why I have the red out here. I'm coming back in here with more red to kick it up because it is the focal point. I'm really gonna add some, this opera up in here. This is what I call painting. See, the yellow is still there. The texture is still there. The collage work is still there. I have all the colors all working together. I have the same brush. I'm painting all over the place with the same color the brush, but the whole trick here is to get in, get out, and don't stay in one area too long because that's what's gonna make it muddy. I'm gonna give her some elegance. So that's what I mean by adding the spice colors. See how it just kind of kicked that up? And now let's go to the final phase of remembering what's the focal point? Windows. So I'm gonna get back to the color combination that I may have lost during the process, but that's part of the painting. Now I'm gonna clean it all up and let's go. And now let's bring it back to the uh, original painting, which was a blue. And so, and also to get back to the window thing, so I'm mixing up a lot of my white, a lot of white. And there's that color that I like so much, compost blue number one. That's what's on my color wheel. And there it is. But do all the mixing on the table, not on the, not on the canvas. So that way I have the color I want. Okay, that's the color I want. Perfect. Now, here we go. Get rid of some of her big old hair. <laughs> Make this a little smaller. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, nice. Remember, this is going to be about a wind. Uh, make her shoulder a little bit narrower. I like to paint really wet. And notice all the contrast. I'm going for contrast, because that's, of course, that's one of my little, little letter C's. You have concepts, composition, you have color. You continue on with the concept, and one of them happens to be, what's the contrast? Look at that, she's a little more elegant. And narrower shoulders. There we go. See, she's looking better already, I think. And a little bit of a window here. There we go. See how wet that is? Because my brush is big. It's about a two inch acrylic brush. Doesn't matter the number. It just makes sure that's big. <laughs> Numbers don't mean anything to me anymore. Just get a big one. See, 
So I brighten it up. This painting certainly has gone through a whole lot of gyrations. I'm gonna kick it up a little bit more here. Whoa. Always going in and kicking it up a little bit more. More contrast there. Look, and there's your blue. I love doing this painting. I'm so glad you had a chance to, to watch me do this. I hope this inspires you to do your window series and join the exhibit of so many people who are posting their images right now. We're joining the international exhibit of window paintings. This is so great for, to see so many artists reaching out, certainly during this time of isolation. What a great way to communicate. I, I bid you safety and wonderful thoughts. Take care.